I was dropping frames when I wasn't even doing nothing. Just minding my business, just chilling, chillaxing, as some might say. And I was dropping an obscene amount of frames. It was far more sinister. So, as you may assume, I was trying to fix that. Wondering what the heck is going on, thinking about what changed as far as my console with the capture card with the OBS. So the conclusion that I've come to is two things. One, I was dropping frames due to the Xbox not pushing out how it should. The second one, I was dropping frames when I switched scenes. And then obviously you can drop frames if your computer starts to struggle a little bit. Maybe you're opening up too much stuff in the background, got too much stuff open in the background or whatever the case may be, maybe a background operation starts. So yeah so when i switched to a certain scene i was dropping in bad boys and i was like that's crazy but the first thing i ended up doing was fixing the xbox situation so coming over to settings click that bad boy and then you see we have tv and display click that and right here it says that we have 1080p but before it was on automatic selection so if you go in here and click any of this stuff right here you see it's on auto detect recommended that's really just if you're switching back and forth between these options or if you don't want to come in here and remember to put it on 4k or 1440p or 1080p every time you change a display so i'm not going to click none of this because it's going to have my stuff going absolutely haywire and i don't got time for that so coming over to video mode this is the problem that i was having right here i had all these things selected because when I had it in automatic, I was trying to play on a 4K TV. And when I unconnected it and put it back to where it was, for some reason, it wasn't pushing out a perfect 60 hertz from the console to my actual OBS through my um, capture card. So I had to come into this, change it to HDMI. I left this where it was because I don't think my monitor is even capable of 10 bit or 12 bit color situation anyway so i just leave it on this i don't see no difference on my monitor you might and then down here since i'm using an actual computer monitor um asus i choose pc if you don't choose this your colors may be washed out when you're using certain displays so i chose the pc rgb then i backed out of that and then i came over here it's gonna probably turn your resolution down to some way super sinister come and select what you need. So I come and select 1080p. It shows the option for 1440, but I cannot do that. My situation don't allow that, it's not gonna work. Then it says 60 Hertz. I can select 120, it's not gonna work. So I'm gonna just click 60. Well, not gonna click 60, just leave it on 60 because that's how I already have it. And then everything started working perfectly fine. No more drop frames, stuff was working great, no issues. It was, I don't know what it was, but something about having it go to the 4k tv i was having flickering i was having so much stuff going on once i turned on all those 4k options and stuff it stopped worked and looked great but then ever since i put it back to my 1080p stuff it was crap toe up from the flow up not cool at all according section again so the next situation was inside of some of these other things i actually had a file that was unloading every time it opened and it only done it if i clicked on one scene then a different scene then come back to that scene but if i switch back and forth between it it kind of like kept it open i guess i don't know the deal behind that but so if i went to my i think it was chilling new yes so when i went to this and then i come down to this uh, this should be the background yes so when i right click on properties as you can see it says unload image when not showing. Do not select this. I don't know if you can have a more beefier computer or what, and it works great. I have no clue. But for me, I have a Core i7 HGN processor laptop with a GTX uh, 1050 Ti or 1050, whatever the heck it is. So I'm not able to even have this checked without having problems. So I unchecked that. As soon as I unchecked that, I'm able to move back and forth with no drop frames. Everything is working and moving delectably smooth. So that is how you get it situated if you're having issues with your OBS not acting right. This may fix some of your drop frame issues. 
if you're having drop frame issues that's non-related to this it might just be some of your settings in obs need to be turned down and right now i'm recording in the software with my actual graphics card and if we come to my settings coming down to advanced i have it set to normal and then coming to the video tab i have it set to 1080p 1080p 30 fps my computer can't stream at 60 it just cannot so i'd rather have a better quality with 30 fps than a uh, crappy quality with 60 this just doesn't make sense for me then my output section i have the streaming i have it set to x.264 and then i have it set to cbr 6000 to medium high and then over here i have the recording tab set to 70,000 kilobits per second key intervals two as far as the preset i have it on quality profile high psychovisual tuning i have that set to on i notice i like how it look when this is on and then obviously I left this where it was. And then when I'm streaming, if we come over to streaming, you see that it's going to 1664 by 936 as far as the rescaled output. My computer can stream medium with that setting and look way sharper than 720p, but not be as taxing as 1080p. 1080p has a ton, a ton of processing that's gonna have to happen. That's a lot of pixels. So this is that sweet delectable spot that you might wanna try out. And obviously, if you're still having drop frames, still having lag in your stuff, you might wanna drop this down. And then if you drop that down and you're still struggling, you might wanna try to drop the resolution that you're streaming out down as well and try that. So first step, drop it from 60 to 30 because I was trying to stream 1664 by 936. I was trying to do that at 60 FPS. That was not working. It looked at crispy. It looked at crispy AF. But it just wasn't working and i'm gonna go to my twitch stream right now and i'm gonna show you what it looked like obviously it's not gonna look as great as it did live i don't guess or maybe they do tidy it up i'm not for sure but we're gonna look at one of the vods and hopefully it still looks as crispy as it did when i was streaming so first step drop from 60 down to 30 try that and if that doesn't work drop some of these settings if you don't want to drop your resolution first you can drop this but i think this is the perfect situation because it's crispy but it's still crispy with this amount of bit rate because 1080p starts to look real pixelated, real blurry, unless you have a stupid amount of bit rate. So yeah, it is what it is. You can play with this if you want to, but I ain't got time. And as you can see right there, the stream looking pretty nice. Let me click, let me make sure I got it on the right stuff. It's on 936p source. It's looking pretty cool, looking pretty nice. I don't have no complaints, not dropping frames while I was streaming. Everything was running smooth. Everything is running nice. Yeah, it looks great to me. I'm not tripping on it. It looks cool. And if you want to check out the stream, Wag Soda Man is the name where you can find me on most of my social media stuff. So, Wag Soda Man, come through. Your boy is at 43 followers. That's trash. That's trash. I'm not gonna lie, this has been a little bit longer video than I planned on it being, but I really just wanted to chat with y'all and tell y'all about that stuff too, because whoever needs the problem solved, y'all a dip anyway, as soon as the problem is solved. But whoever is here rocking with your boy, comment your favorite emoji down below so I know that you a real MVP. If this video was cool, if it helped you out, if you got any value from this bad boy, slam that like button, it's greatly appreciated. Helps the channel out tremendously. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.